Tesco and Ireland AM are big on fun this Easter. Everything from arts and crafts to tasty recipes. Tesco, have you covered? Now, with the children off school for Easter, it's time to get all creative and crafty, and we're outside here with Ali Coughlin. Good morning to you. Good morning. And we've three lovely little helpers this morning who are getting all crafty and uh, looking, um, look, really doing some nice work here. This is um, Ryan and Shannon and Evie. Good morning to you all. How are we? You all good? So, we're, we're making bird feeders. We are. So, today I'm going to show you how to make a bird feeder using a milk carton. Okay. And it actually is going to look like a bird. It's a really fun craft that you can make over the Easter holiday so in the next couple of days it's a great family craft and it's so simple all you need is an empty milk carton and then what else I have I have some uh, paint some glitter some googly eyes bird feeder um, a scissors and some empty caps off bottles and um, everything I got here today is from the Tesco go create range um, they have a fantastic so they range. have a whole go create range so you can actually yeah. go in buy all this in store and get creative with the children exactly yeah. and it's really really affordable and you get loads in each packet so you can reuse them you know it's not just for making one thing you can use them okay over and so over what again. are we starting off so we have our milk okay. we have our our tesco organic milk carton exactly, here yes yeah. so you have your empty milk carton and just make sure you rinse it out because um you know it'll be pretty stinky otherwise rinse it out and make sure there's no um, excess water in it mm -hmm. so you're going to start off and we take a black marker and we're going to draw a little arch on the front of it here and this is where the little bird is going to come in to get the food right. and then on either side we draw an upside down triangle and these are the bird's wings on either side and then at the front we just do a little tiny slit there so it's really, really simple. Anyone can do it with little or no um, crafty yeah. kind of skill. And once you have that done, then you just cut that's it out. It there. Yeah, and this is what it looks like then when it's cut out. So you have the two little wings and the front part here. So the next part then so we're, we're is painting we're it paint next. It. Right. So um, Shannon over here has been working very Shannon's hard. Shannon's working away. Are you enjoying this, Shannon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're painting it red. Did you choose red, or was just was that your favourite colour? Yeah, I chose red. You chose red. Okay. So she's painting away then. Painting so that's away. that's so the next step. But exactly. So um, when you're painting the milk cartons, it kind of takes about two or three layers of paint because they're they're quite hard to, mm -hmm. to for the paint to stick on. Um, so maybe paint it, leave it dry, come back an hour later, paint it again, and so on. If you're in a hurry, you can use a hair dryer. That's always a good little trick to have. So Evie, what um, are you doing? I'm doing the eyes. And how do you do that? You need a big bottle cap, a small bottle cap, and two and um, two googly eyes. So you get a big bottle cap. And then you glue a small bottle cap inside, and then you glue a googly eye on the small bottle cap. So I take it that you you get the googly eyes as part of the craft kit. You do, yeah. You get a whole bag of googly eyes in Tesco, and there's loads of different sizes, and you can use them for so many things. I mean, anything can be turned into something creative with a few googly eyes stuck on. So as we were saying, you get the big cap. Yeah. So you get the big cap, and you stick inside a smaller cap. So these are all just caps that we've collected over yeah. milk cartons or juice cartons, and you stick them on inside. Stick on the googly eyes, and then you're left with two that look like this. And you literally, will you put a bit of glue on on them for me, Put Evie? a bit of yeah. them on glue on that, Evie. Thank there you we much. go. So you put the glue on, and then you literally, I have one here, and Ryan's been really Ryan's busy very here. Good. He's doing a Ryan's great job. And what, what's your job, Ryan? I have to put all the bird seed into the little bird. You're putting all the bird seed into all the bird, that, that, so all the birds can come and feed them. And if the bird's been coming down and eating them today? No. Not yet. We'll get some birds in now in a few minutes, so... So the next step then is you just get a um, lollipop stick and we're going to stick it into the bottom here, the little slot that we made earlier. Um, if it goes in, there we go. And this is just a little perch for the bird to sit on. Right. And then you just stick on your eyes on the front like this. And I made a little um, beak out of paper earlier. And it's over there. Evie, will you pass that to me? Have you got the little beak? Oh, there's the little beak here. Yeah, there's the little beak. And you stick that on the front here, and then you have your bird feeder. So it's really simple. So and you have some more done there in the front. Some more here in the front here. All just in the different colours. Exactly. And then you put them out in the garden. And where, where would be a good place to put them, would you say? Where, where would be a good place to put them, Ryan? In the tree or on the ground. In the tree or in the I think in the tree probably be best, wouldn't it? Because if they're on the ground, and maybe a cat might get them, and we don't want that. 
No, we don't <laughs> want that. So as you said, like there's loads of stuff here available. There is. There's a huge range, and it's I, I use them at home myself with the kids, and in particular these pots here, they're non-spill pots. They're fantastic. Uh, anyone with kids would agree. Um, painting is very messy, so these type of things are really handy to have, and you can just rinse them out at home. And, and you, you again. have your own crafty parties. You do your own crafty parties, I and do. you have your own book, which is out now. That's right. Yeah, I just released my book. It's called uh, Get Crafty. It has over 40 craft ideas to make at home uh, with your kids. Really similar things like this. They're very, very easy, simple ideas, and uh, anyone can do it. And it's just and keeps them occupied for exactly. hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is great <laughs> news <laughs> for the parents who are uh, another week. They're planning into another week yeah. of the of the children being off school. Well, listen, Ryan, Shannon, and Evie, thank you all very much for joining us this morning. You're all doing great work. We let you carry on there, and Ali, thanks very much for that. Thank We're going to take a quick break. We'll see you uh, for more Ireland AM in a few minutes. Tesco and Ireland AM are big on fun this Easter. Everything from arts and crafts to tasty recipes. Tesco, have you covered?